everybody and welcome to the newest episode of Biscuits of Britain. Um, it's been a while and I've got some biscuits sat on my biscuit shelf just over there and I've been dying to film one. So without further ado I'm going to make a pot of tea. my teapot and I've got my tea tin quality tea I've actually just put some fresh tea in this today full pot. I would suggest putting two bags in. So give it a, a little stir. And let that brew for a moment. see what's on the biscuit plate today. Today's biscuits come from Canada and I've got a little letter here. It says, Dear Charlotte, this package is a token of my appreciation for the hard work and dedication you put into creating your wonderful videos. I hope these cookies are worthy of your fantastic Biscuits of Britain and Beyond series. To be honest, I have yet to try these cookies, so I hope they are scrumptious. I hope all goes well with your house purchase and subsequent move. Wishing you all the best, an appreciative fan from Canada, James. Now, um, you might be able to tell how long I've had these biscuits. <laughs> because I've lived in my house for about four months now. Um, I obviously haven't forgotten about them. This feels damn. I ironed it. I knew I was having company, so I ironed it. I think I might have just got a bit of slop when I poured the tea. So James has sent me um, biscuits from Canada. And they are... Mm -hmm. Make sure they're the right way around because they've always got one side in English, one side in French. So we have Simple Pleasures Cranberry Shortbread baked with six simple ingredients. And we have Ultimate Pumpkin Spice Cream or Petit Pleasures Sable or Cranberges and Supreme Creme a la Citrouille Air or Espices. Murdered that. So these are the two biscuits. I'm going to have a feel of the boxes and score them. I've left my notepad over there. Just kidding, it was in my hand all along. The joy of editing. So, let's have a look what we have here. If you hear some chuckles, it's my next door neighbours. They're, um, they're loud but not in an obnoxious way. They like laugh a lot, but really, really loud. So if you hear some 
distant laughter. It's not some scary clown. It's just my neighbours. So we have simple. Simple pleasures and pumpkin spice. Or a copper. Now, I knew that you were coming round, so I'm not to be rude. I got you one cup. These are actually from my auntie. So, Auntie Margie, if you're watching, hello. Putting them to good use. Um, my auntie watches some of my videos, so. She had this when I think she was having a house clear out and she said it would be perfect for my biscuit to Britain. So I've got a matching milk jug there. And I've got a little plate as well that I'm going to put the biscuits on. So they are Phoenix Ware made in England and they look hand painted How much milk would you like? Just a just a touch. Okay. Is that enough? Okay. I like a lot of milk. yours. Put it there for you. Let's have a taste. The handles are quite difficult to hold. It's not one way you can get your, your hand in there. You have to drink it very ladylike. There is literally no other place for your pinky to go other than up. I know he's laughing. It's hard to hold. Yeah, there's no pinky going in there, no finger going in there. Delicious. So, <clears throat> simple pleasures are first. So I'm going to do the box first. So the box is out of two and a half and then we listen to the inserts. See, it's a two. I do like that. So, wrapper. Two, and then we do the inside. This 
also gets a two. It's a good start. So the total is four for the wrapper. Pumpkin spice. inside This one is in a tray. doesn't do anything for me. One thing. Okay. I'm going to put them on my little tea plate and then get taste in them. So I put them on a little plate. So the first thing is taste. Let's try the simple pleasures. Let's get a bit of some cranberry in. It's very crumbly. starts off very promising and if you get a big bit of cranberry in there the punch from that's lovely but on a whole First mouthful wasn't great, second more better, third was really nice. I'd actually say my first my first score from the first mouthful would have been a four or a five. <clears throat> But after tasting that, it's much nicer. I think it's more in the realms of a a six. I have to have some more. Hmm. Now I get the creaminess. The short bread. They're very nice. A lot nicer than the first bite. Um, oh, I don't know. It's got me stumped. Well, crunch. It's 
to one. I'm delaying doing the tear, so crunch. It's a one, there's barely any. Mm. It's, it's nowhere in the realms of a ten. Seven. That's a seven for taste. Texture. Very nice texture. Very crumbly. Got that lovely kind of sticky shortbread aftertaste. Got the little chewy bits of the cranberries mm. texture I'd say five it's it's up there with the best really good taste I've had them before. It's a, it's a very familiar taste. There's got to be nutmeg in here. Cinnamon, obviously, um, bacon powder and nutmeg. You can really taste the nutmeg in there. The reason the nutmeg stands out more for me than the cinnamon is because when I make homemade rice pudding, I use nutmeg on the top, so it's quite a distinct flavour. Um, nice. It doesn't blow me away. It's like a spiced creamy biscuit. Pumpkin's not really big in this country. Um, we don't kind of make pumpkin pies. Um, only recently the pumpkin spice latte has been a big thing but it's certainly not a, a big deal in this country. So I don't eat it and think, oh my god, it's pumpkin. Um, taste, I'd give it a... It's not unpleasant. But it's not. It's not wonderful. I'd give it a six for taste. Crunch. It's definitely got crunch. This is out of five. Make a, a decision on that and texture. The 
biscuits very crumbly but not in a shortbread kind of way I've just had to put my naughty laptop outside I think it's trying to take off the texture wasn't even on a par with the cranberry it was a nice crumbly to, to it crumbly start again it had a nice crumbliness to it but not um, where it crumbles and then kind of sticks together with shortbread like it would you know when you're eating shortbread and you, it's like butter it's delicious but this isn't it's got a dryness to it but then the cream moistens it up again mm. texture I'd say a three Dunk test. I don't even want to hazard a guess. I fear the shortbread won't do very well. Um, the the pumpkin should do okay though, but I've been known on many occasions to be wrong. As always, I use freshly boiled water in these tests to try and keep it as um, consistent as possible. And it's two dunks and we're out, so. We're going to go with the simple pleasures first, which is very small. Move this further up. So it's one, two, and back. Ooh. I think this can go for double. It can. One, two. Yep. Yeah. So that's three points. Is uh, daring to go. One, two. Definitely a double dunker. Yep. Both made it to double dunks, which means three points each. your money on. Coming in at a very respectable 17.5 with the pumpkin spice. Um, I don't know if I can say I'm surprised because the last biscuits I had that were very much like this were the maple ones and I thought they'd be out of this world but they were just like a, a maple syrup custard cream. And these actually look very similar and have the kind of same makeup, um, genetic biscuit makeup. So it doesn't surprise me that these came behind the Simple Pleasures, which scored 20. Um, the first bite wasn't good, but they improved massively. I don't know whether I've just got a bad bit or whether it's one of those things where you just got to eat more and more. And maybe that's a marked employee. But yeah, they came in with 20. Uh, have you had either of these biscuits before? Are these your regular purchases? Do you see these in the shops and don't bother buying them and now think, you know what? I'm going to try these now. These will be scoffed down rather quickly tonight. 
even though I am trying to eat a bit healthier. I've been eating really, really badly for the past four months. It's just been a lot going on. Um, and my diet's taking a hit and it's not good. <laughs> so I'm like trying to eat as healthy as possible. But obviously I keep getting biscuits and things. But I'm doing a public service, so... So I will put them on the scoreboard and see if they make it on. I don't think they'll make it on the scoreboard. But I definitely think um, one of Canada's lovely biscuits will make it on. Thank you all for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this episode. I hope you've got some lovely tingles. And I'll see you next time.